Look at the insides of this beautiful purple potato that I'm just about to plant here in Zone 5, Wisconsin. Guten yardening, everybody. It is a beautiful, actually a little bit hot, mid-May day here in Zone 5, Wisconsin, and I'm out here ready to plant some potatoes. Now, potatoes are a root crop that we absolutely love to plant and love to harvest even more, and we've grown quite a few different varieties in the past, and even in the beds that I'm gonna show you today, we've also harvested some really nice-sized potatoes out of here last season. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the containers that we're planting these potatoes in, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the variety of potato that we've chosen here, which is called Magic Molly. And I'll get to that in just a little bit. And then I wanna to talk to you about the preparation that we've done. And finally, I'll show you how we plant our potatoes so that we can get a really nice crop here in about three months. The containers that we're using were originally 50 gallon containers that were used to hold vinegar. So they're food safe containers. And you can see that we cut them in half long ways. And what you've got is somewhere in the neighborhood of about seven to eight inches of depth. And overall that surface space, we're looking at about 24 square feet. Now last year, these beds were definitely multi-purpose for us. We didn't just limit ourselves to growing potatoes. We also grew some carrots in here. We harvested sweet potatoes out of here and we also grew radishes. So we tried our best to maximize what we could do over the growing season. And this year we have the same plan in mind. Now, if you watched our video on amending versus fertilizing, you probably have a better idea of exactly what we needed to do and why we needed to do it to prepare these beds for planting these potatoes. But I'm gonna talk you through what we did to amend the bed and then also what we're gonna to do to fertilize this bed in order to make sure these potatoes grow in a healthy and well hopefully very productive manner. The first thing I did to help prep this soil was to amend it with some organic compost, some of our purple cow organic compost and you can see this soil looks absolutely fantastic. I've added this, it's a really nice loose soil. Again, we've grown carrots in here and they had no problem moving through this soil. So that's the first thing I did. I amended it with compost and then I added an all-purpose organic fertilizer, something that would give me a balanced NPK. But because we're planting potatoes and potatoes are a root crop, we're gonna give it a little extra boost with two things. One, our bone meal. Now the bone meal has an NPK of 412.0, so that means our phosphate, that's the P, the middle number, is higher. And the phosphate is what helps with that root crop development. So vegetables like our carrots, our onions, and in this case our potatoes, really benefit from bone meal. And the third thing that I'm adding here is some mycorrhizal inoculant. And this is a really, really cool supplement that you can add to your soil. And we'll have links to both of these in the description if you're interested. But this variety of mycorrhizal called mycos actually helps the uptake and retention of water and nutrients. So it really helps our root crops as they try to bring in, absorb those nutrients, and it helps them in times of drought. And you can read on the back here exactly what it is that this does. So we're going to enhance those roots using our mycorrhizal and our bone meal. And the way we're gonna do this is we're actually gonna put a little bit of each of these in the bottom of the hole where we're planting our potatoes. Now before I go ahead and plant these in the ground, I want to tell you a little bit about these Magic Molly potatoes. Now technically they're a fingerling potato that will be ready to harvest within about 75 days if you want to harvest them as first or as smaller fingerling potatoes, but we're going to wait I think that full 95 to 100 or 105 days to get the bigger potatoes out of here. And by bigger potatoes what we're looking at is probably about 3 to 4 inch potatoes all told. Now the Magic Molly potato is actually a pretty new variety of potato which was created in Alaska in 2007. So it's only about 14 years old and it was named after the creator's daughter. That's where the Magic Molly name comes from. Now these particular purple potatoes have a beautiful deep purple on the inside and the skin, and you can't really tell here because again, these are the seed potatoes, but the skin is a really dark, almost black 
purple whenever you wash them off. So we're really excited to see that and we're also excited because these are supposed to maintain their color when you cook them. And even though you can prepare them in any way you want, boiled, roasted or whatever, they're supposed to be best when roasted or grilled and they say they make a beautiful purple potato chip. So we've got some options once we've got these harvested. Now, if we look at the size of these potatoes, the first thing you should notice is that the chitting process actually took place at the store before we bought these seed potatoes. So we've got about a half inch on some of these. Some of them are a little bit longer. So we've already got these shoots on. This one's about an inch. Realistically, what you should have before you plant these in the ground is somewhere between a half inch to three quarters. So these should be in good enough shape for us to go ahead and put them in the ground. Now, when you have a potato this size, which is a little bit more than three ounces, we could certainly cut this in half. You could actually just make sure that there's an eye on each piece, but we don't usually cut our potatoes. We like to plant them whole. So even though I went ahead and cut this open so that I could show you the inside because the inside is just so nice, this isn't something I'm gonna be doing to the rest of them. We're gonna plant the rest of these whole. One note, and this is really important, if you do cut your potatoes in half, you should do that about seven to 10 days before you're planting them in the ground. And that allows this area that you've opened up to develop a second skin. If you don't do that, there's a higher chance that you're going to have some rotting happen. Now, last year when we planted in this bed, we only planted five potatoes. And what we found was there seemed to be a lot of extra space. So I'm going a little heavy on here, perhaps a little closer than what's suggested, which is a potato every foot or so. And I'm gonna put seven or eight, depending on how many I end up with in each of these beds. Now the soil itself is a little bit moist, but it is not wet. And that is intentional. I came out and I wet it down just a little bit to make sure that I didn't have to water afterward. We're not trying to water a lot for the first couple of weeks because we wanna give time for root to develop and we don't want to cause any rotting in here. Now, we are expected to get some rain over the next couple of days, but I think that'll be fine. This is a really nice, well-draining soil. So that part, we should be okay anyway. So no problem there. Now, when it comes to depth, you'll see lots of different suggestions depending on the variety that you're trying to plant. This one in particular, I've seen suggestions anywhere from two inches to four inches to seven inches. What we're gonna do, we have about seven inches of total depth. We're gonna dig down about four inches and this is going to be our planting depth. So we've got our four inches or approximately four inches of depth here. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of our bone meal and less than a teaspoon, it's about a half a teaspoon of our mycorrhizal. And then I'm gonna give just a little bit of coverage with the soil, just a tiny little bit. And then right underneath there, we're placing our potato and we're covering it. That's it. And we're gonna repeat that process for all four of these beds. Now, this is going to take about two to three weeks before we start seeing any greens pop up. And once those greens get to about seven inches in height, five to seven inches in height, we're gonna come back through and we're gonna add a little bit more soil. We're gonna mound it up. And the reason we're gonna go ahead and mound that up whenever we get to that five to seven inches of growth is because potatoes, well, they sometimes develop pretty close to the surface. And if they come into contact with the sun, we can have what's called solanine created, which are those green pieces that develop a lot of times on the skin of potatoes. And that is actually not healthy for you. That's not something that you wanna be eating. So we wanna prevent that from happening. So again, we'll come back through here. We'll mound them up once we see that growth. So I'm gonna take the next five to 10 minutes, go through and get the rest of these planted. One thing I should have mentioned is just in general, we're gonna to try to keep the side of the potato with the most eyes facing in an upward direction. The nice thing about a container this size is I can come back through and add more soil very easily as needed. But for right now, one down, three more to go. I'm wrapping this up. I'm on my last set here, get these in the ground. And so I wanna remind you of one thing. I'm not gonna come out here and water for the next couple of weeks if I can help it. I mean, unless the soil was gonna dry out completely, there's not really a need for me to come out here and do much of anything to what's happening here. And I should point out something that I think you probably already know, but as you're putting these in the ground and as you're handling them just in general, be as careful as you can be 
so you don't knock off these eyes. That is a worst case scenario. All right, that's it. We've planted 24 square feet of potatoes, 28 seed potatoes, and if our yield is anything like years past, we're hoping to get between two to four pounds per seed potato. And if that happens, then in this little area, we're talking about a really nice turn of events of about 50 pounds of potatoes. But you have to stay tuned over the next couple of months as they develop to see what we get from these amazing Magic Molly purple potatoes. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, let us know if you've planted these Magic Molly potatoes before or what your favorite potato to plant is. Don't forget to share this with your friends and subscribe. And most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.